Hi everyone. Today's craft is going to be a uh, kind of a purse travel bag. Put it into you know another bag and go with a uh, ziplock kind of zipper thing on top so that it's got an opening inside. Okay, see? Another word preferred pharmacy for many national plants. It's never been easier to So, choose any plant with Walmart. It's pretty deep. So, I'm going to show you how to make this cute little travel kind of bag. So, let's get started. What you're going to need is some duct tape. Any color you want. You're going to need an actual uh, cutting knife. You're going to need your Ziploc bag. And this is going to be a pretty big one because I'm going to make it bigger than the last one. And you're going to need a ruler. And this is just to clean up your edges. So, I will be right back. Alrighty. The first thing you do is um, you measure how long your uh, bag is. So, if you're lucky like me and still have the box around, mine is um, about 11 inches long and a roughly 11 inches, uh, well, 11 inches long and 11 inches wide. So then I'm going to make two strips that are 11 inches uh, wide. So I'm going to push this out of the way. You can measure your duct tape or bag just by simply putting the bag next to the duct tape, leaving about a half inch over here and roughly a half inch on this side. And then you take your knife and cut as straight as possible. Okay? All right, so you have both uh, pieces all done, okay? So then you take one of the pieces, like this, and you fold it down to about three-fourths. And just eye it as best as you can, crease, and you want to leave a little bit of this sticky edge here, see, sticky edge, here, and you want to do that with both of them. So, with the one I have, I'm going to turn my bag around, and since it's super long, I'm going to fold it on itself. You take this part, and I kind of match it directly. I give an overlap a little bit to the bag, sealing it onto the bag. So see how this works? It's kind of, it's overlapping the bag, okay? So when you're actually looking straight at it, you're not going to see this part here or this part, okay? So just make sure that, that is down securely, okay? Just like that. And then you go on to the other side. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. So I have, have both of the tapes on either side, as you can see. All right, so now what you do is you just pick a side to start with. All right, and you're gonna use um, this edge here as a <coughs> uh, as a guideline for the rest of your project. So what you're going to do is take more of the same tape, or if you want like a different one on, like on this one, on this one I used a blue up here, and then I took a just a plain decorative duck tape sheet like this. I used this. Those make it a lot easier, but if you're making a bigger one, this is the best way I found. So 
this is how I'm going to show you guys. Just take the tape and you put it right on top of the tape you have like this. Of course you want to get it as straight as possible. Okay? And you do that all the way down to the end of the back. And then you repeat this step on the other side. So when I get to the other side, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I'll be right back. Now I have this edge where I want it and how I want it to look. I'm going to pull up the other long piece. We're still got this piece, so don't worry about that. And you just simply do the same to the other side. Just like that. Pull up. And then you just go from the middle okay go from the middle there we go now you just trim off the edge just like that so far your pouch should look like this okay now it's time to decide where you want this zipper. Well, I'm a right-handed person, so I always unzip from this side. Okay, so I'm going to put the zipper in my left hand because this is my left hand. It's the right hand to you guys. It's the left hand for me. So I'm just going to lay that down. I'm going to pull this strip up. Okay. And then I'm going to place this uh, you can place it like right in the middle, which would be right here. You could place it up here a little more towards the top. Or if you really want to get creative, you can place it along the sub bottoms, you know, and I think that's where I'm going to place this one. Okay? Alrighty. I have just finished up my big pouch. Alright, so um so it looks like this. Okay, I just did some art kind of deco simple things and the zippers up here. So now I have a big, huge pocket for when I go on my vacations and stuff. I can put in like some travel shampoo if I wanted to in here and um, stuff like that. Keep it nice and it won't spill all over my bags or anything like that. And there's one, here's a smaller one, here's the smaller one that kind of goes with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed yourself and you can make these in any size as long as you have the bag. Um, you can even cut the bags like literally you can cut it into to like a three-fourths of kind of a bag if you don't want something really huge or whatever so same with this one you can cut it kind of in half and if you leave the bottom half um, for another project you could probably get two out of it um, or maybe I don't know maybe you could use the lining for something else um, I'm all about recycling and I'm all about doing stuff by yourself or for yourself and don't think 
about it. If you are happy, which I am happy with this, it's nice, simple, it's not perfect, I'm happy with it. So that makes me happy and I don't really care if, if anybody doesn't like how not perfect it is. Um, so this is my duct tape kind of travel pouches. Um, thank you for watching and I will definitely see you um, the next time we do a, a craft. So, bye!